Hello everyone, welcome to the Logical Fallacy, my name is Sean and welcome to another special video for you guys today, it's here, it is finally here, Bindi and the Dark Revival official trailer is out, and boy have we waited for this one, in fact we've been waiting for probably two, three years for this, ever since 2019 when they released it, uh, the official gameplay video uh, where they kind of were giving some kind of conceptual uh, basis for the game. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. I'm really excited about this and I'm really excited to get into it and play it when it comes out. There's apparently a release date, so I'm excited to see that. But mostly I'm just excited about the visuals. You know me. I'm excited about those visuals. Let's go. Let's get it. And the, the style for this game is just fantastic. I'm so excited to re-enter this world. It's gonna be cool. Let's go. I'm so pumped. I just... Another late night, another crazy deadline. Aw, oh, nice. Hey! You can do this, Audrey. Okay. So this is the prequel. Everything else. Stay away from the ink demon. This looks What's an ink demon. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Let's go. Here goes nothing. The art style and the graphics. Oh man. Let's go. She was the fourth. Revival. Let's go. Honestly, like, we've waited so long for the. Wait. Andy? All right. November 15th. Wait, what? That... Are you kidding me? It's coming in 15 days? Ah. They, they, they have waited three years to give us an official trailer for this. I am I I'm, I'm wrong? And it's coming out in 15 days. That makes a lot of sense. We've waited way too long with the are we've created our own anticipation for this game. This just reaffirms it and shows us this is a finished game. This is coming out and it looks fantastic. Quite frankly, the graphics are just amazing. Honestly, I'm getting a I'm mostly just because I'm thinking about the game today, but this looks a lot like Bioshock, honestly. Like obviously the vibe, but like just looking at the industrial, like, this looks very much like Bioshock vibes. Even, like, look at this. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I love Bioshock, so that's, like... And obviously, it's still within the whole world. And this is he Heavenly Toys, which is coming from uh, Chapter 3 of Bindi and the Ink Machine. So this is all from the game. Uh, while we're also gonna be seeing some new areas... Um, demon follower. Interesting. So it seems like this world is a lot less evil than I expect. Like, it looks like things are like people are still conscious, people are still... But why are there so many of them? How many employees do they have? And that's the question I have is like where did all of these people come from? Did they lure people into this place? How many, I mean, I imagine with a big studio like this, they'd have a lot of employees, which would make sense. I've got to say, I forgot what the main character is called. Her, her name is, um, what, 
they said, um... You can do this, Audrey. Audrey. Okay, so Audrey is our main uh, protagonist. Was that? But I love the aesthetic for this game. And just... So I'm guessing, is this right here, is that Joey Drew? Joey Drew, uh, the man and the demon. Interesting. So who is, I'm guessing, so yeah, this is Joey Drew, and that, that's the ink machine behind him, but it's a lot smaller. So maybe this is like a prototype. He throws her in. She's like one of the, I wouldn't say first, like, because she wouldn't be the first one, is she? Or unless she is, and she's like more, like not as corrupted as the rest, so that's why she has to be taken care of. It's very interesting. Like, there's a lot to theory craft about as far as this trailer goes. Um, and looking at it, it's just uh, and we get to see Alice again. We get to see the evolution of all of these characters that we've known to grow and to to love, uh, and such a cool way. Um, you know, playing as a completely different character. But, you know, also we get to see the evolution of Bendy, it looks like, because, we, you know, we saw kind of like baby Bendy. You know, we get to see classic Bendy. And obviously he doesn't look that way at the uh, at the beginning uh, and certainly not at the end. So it's like, you know, this is obviously his evolution. And I believe as he absorbs more ink, that's how he becomes, you know, stronger and more deformed overall so that's pretty interesting uh but you know some ge just general thoughts on it that's pretty cool thank you guys so much for joining me please go and support them on november 15th go get the game let's get let's go get the game and i'm going to be probably playing this on the channel uh so please comment below uh just general thoughts what you guys want uh think want from me from that kind of gameplay um and generally what you guys think about this game what do you think it's going what direction it's going i'm really interested in that uh, but we'll see and uh, uh, it's supposedly going to be a lot longer but i've got to say i'm really excited about the vibe of this it definitely does like this this kind of area obviously i think a lot of this is from the original game obviously i've you know i've played the original and i've got to say though it reminds me a lot of bioshock mostly because i'm just thinking about that game today but um man so excited. I love the aesthetic for it. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.